It doesn't matter what anybody says. I don't need anybody to agree. And at the time, nobody else did agree um, about what Gary would be. Yeah. I know it, right? So my pattern recognition skills tell me that I'm right. Wow. And it doesn't matter if the whole world is assembled on the other side of you. In fact, that's where the opportunities are. I was at the Jets trying to figure my life out. 2009, 2009. 2009, the Jets are located in New Jersey. And Gary is a massive fan, the whole world knows this, right? That his ultimate destination is to buy the New York yeah. Jets, right? Yeah. Um, which I believe he probably will pull off. And uh, my team was convinced that he would buy a suite, which I was not convinced that he's gonna buy a suite at all. <laughs> like, so. No matter how big of a no fan No matter how is. big, right? But sometimes you have to support your sales, your sales team. So they're like, just go see him at, uh, at his uh, wine library in Springfield, New Jersey. New Jersey, yeah. Yeah, so we met at a bagel shop. I was like, what am I doing? But okay. So I sat down with him. And I always break that conversation into chapters, right? So the first 10 minutes was this guy, Gary Hood. The hoodie never, on. The like. hoodie and his like, quasi-weird Caesar haircut. And all frenetic about how like I'm going to crush it. And yeah. the internet's going to explode. So and he had the authenticity and the confidence. He did, right. So right. that's a Right. There was, he was definitely authentic. Yeah. He was but but so but is he out of his mind that was the first that was the first time because i don't back out of out of one's mind right right so then uh but the second 10 minutes right if you listen to gary even circa 2009 whether you start to hear these prognostications about how the world is going to play out and you could start to discern an inside voice mm. that made sense and resonated with me so i tend to like to also look past the packaging yeah. right because i came in a certain packaging um, so I don't judge the packaging. I want to trust my intuition and what is the person really saying. So circa 2009, Gary was making these predictions about how the world will play out in the second 10 minutes. I was like, huh, I think he, he could, he's probably being underestimated because mm. I think he's right. So for example, one of his early days, he said, social media is going to continue to take off and democratize the creation of content. Content's not going to be in the hands of the New York Times or anybody mm -hmm. else. It's going to be in everybody's the hands. People, yeah. In people's hands. Corporations, though, these massive battleship carriers are not going to be able to turn in time to figure out how to create that content or manage it because it'll be everywhere. So I'm going to That's true. right. Yeah. So he says I'm going to create the first social media digital firm specifically to help those companies create content and navigate that, and they'll never be able to. Because then my next question is, but eventually they'll figure it out and hire their own in-house team. He's like, no, they won't. It'll move too fast. Wow. Like, they'll, they'll need all, him. They'll always need somebody to help them wow. navigate. And he says, so me and my brother AJ, we're yeah, exactly. still in college. Yeah. We're gonna doing go some t-shirt thing at yeah, the time. Yeah, doing right, right, right. We're gonna create this firm. So mm -hmm. and then um, and a few other predictions and, and that's when this seed of an idea started forming. That if I could partner with Gary, wouldn't it be great to have this machine of social media digital content creation at your disposal while you're pursuing whatever you're pursuing? And also, if I could back him, we could put mm. real money to work on some of the ideas he had seen. He's early in Uber, faster. he's in Facebook. He was in line. I was like, well, why, don't, why aren't you writing larger checks? Because he wasn't being backed because he was this frenetic guy sitting in a bagel store and yeah. did not have the packaging at that time. So that's, that was my first big deal. At the moment, basically gave him four Jets tickets so that he could take a player at the time who probably wouldn't have the profile didn't necessarily deserve to have the profile based on the position mm -hmm. and can you make him Twitter famous and I remember we had a, a dinner in a summit New Jersey with Kerry Rhodes a safety and Gary went to work doing what Gary does elevating his profile and showing me what he could do wow that was my first and you was, saw it happen in like weeks probably like, that was I mean so I, I credit Gary a lot that was probably my first hmm. deal in business in this new iteration or current wow. chapter of my life because it told me a few things um, it doesn't matter what anybody says. I don't need anybody to agree. And at the time, nobody else did agree um, about what Gary would be. Yeah. I know it, right? So my pattern recognition skills tell me that I'm right. Wow. And it doesn't matter if the whole world is assembled on the other side of you. In fact, that's where the opportunities are, that, uh, that you have what it takes. Because we all need reps. Right? I always say that. We all need some reps. I don't care how confident you are. Or you how, need practice. You need practice and you need, um, you need validation. Yeah. And it doesn't mean you don't even need external validation. You need validation that you're not being delusional. Yeah. So Gary, uh, for many different reasons, but being right about Gary was an important way for me to get reps.